Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising, on September 2nd, 2024, we'll have a new moon in Virgo, which will be active until the full moon on September 16th. For you, Taurus, a couple things stand out to me about this time period. First, I think it's worth mentioning that for you, this new moon is occurring in your fifth house, which rules creativity, children, leisure time, what you do for fun, and yeah, also your children, your creativity. It's an interesting house. So all of these themes that are all sort of loosely related to your creations, to what you make in this world, are up for renewal right now. This is a great time to set new intentions in these areas for not just the next couple of weeks, but the next six months. I also want to talk a little bit about the Mars-Neptune square that's occurring at this time. For you, it's happening between your 2nd and 11th houses. Your 11th house up here rules friends and groups that you belong to. It also relates to social media, so any work that you do online, businesses, or just sort of your relationship to social media, that's up here too. And with Saturn and Neptune here, you've been doing a lot of work in this area. There's probably been some sort of slow, steady progress in some kind of way related to your house of friends and groups and that life area for you. So it's interesting to think about maybe how things have shifted there really over the course of the last year or so. And now at the time of this Mars-Neptune square, something about that's coming into focus. Mars down here in your second relates to your drive, your will. And in your second house, it's about really showing up for what you value most, what you care about most. And your second house can also impact finances. But with the Neptune square, it's like some sort of information is coming in, some sort of motivation, some sort of influence from up in your 11th house. It's like that planted some sort of dream within you, perhaps, and now you're playing it out with your will and your motivation, your Mars, moving a little differently than usual. How are you connecting to your values in a different way during this time, Taurus? How are you connecting to your earnings in a different way? Does it relate to any kind of work that you've been doing lately with friends and groups? This would be an interesting time to consider that for sure. It's also quite significant that Uranus recently turned retrograde in your first house. This is an amazing time, Taurus, to be thinking about the last six months and how your life has changed and sort of integrate all of those transformations. You may have transformed and changed in some ways that really surprise you. Uranus and Taurus is sort of unexpected transformations. I'm going to link to a video here that gets into the Uranus and also the Pluto story in September in a lot more depth. Keep in mind, Taurus, that Uranus for you is in the first house, which is all about your sense of self. And then Pluto is in your ninth, which rules your philosophy and the way you see the world. So apply those signatures as well when you check out this video if you choose to check out this video. Thank you so much for watching this one, Taurus, and I hope you have a wonderful early September. Please subscribe or like this video if you've enjoyed it. Thanks so much, Taurus.